Yeah, well, here we are at the Gen Z stand with Bradley Patton, um, and he's just unveiled an amazing new battery to me. Um, there it is. Look at that. Wow, it runs your whole house. Uh, what is it, about five kilowatts? Yeah, Something oh, yes. like that? No, no that's, no, that's a 10 kilowatt hour. Oh, it's a 10 kilowatt hour, so it's my USB storage. Thanks, yes. thanks, Bradley. But look, seriously, um, they've got some amazing batteries which are behind me. But we'll just uh, turn around and have a look, and I'll ask Bradley a few questions. So, Bradley, um, tell me about the Gen Z battery. What is it? What do you do with it? Uh, the Gen Z battery is a LFP, a lithium ferrophosphate lead acid replacement battery. So you just pop it in and you set it up just as you would any other lead acid battery, but with all the advantages of a lithium ferrophosphate battery. That's pretty cool. I'm looking at the, 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 the stack of them behind you and I can see that all you've got on the front there is uh, an on light, a circuit breaker and a positive and negative connector. Yes. That's it. That's it. So no comms. No comms. So it will work with any inverter that's running at 48 volts that uh, doesn't need any special um, uh, controls. It'll behave just like a lead acid battery. Right. Well, let's look at the actual units. I see you've got a couple down here. Um, so there's two different sizes on top of this little cabinet here. Tell me about these. All right. The top one is a two kilowatt hour battery. So it's two kilowatt hours usable. Right. And um, the bottom one is a three kilowatt hour battery. Three kilowatt hours are usable. So you only list the rate of the usable capacity. That's correct. Right. Now, one of the advantages, though, is that as you each battery battery is also 3 kilowatt hour surge. So you can draw 3 kilowatt hours for one hour. And so if you stack two or three or four batteries, you have the cumulative surge rating. So um, if you are using a hybrid inverter and uh, you want to start your washing machine or your pumps, um, the battery isn't derated to handle surge currents. Cool. Wow, so um, you can build quite big systems by the look of it here. Um, I'm just looking at uh, a lot of biscuits over there. Um, I'm looking at this stack here. So it's possible to parallel how many? Um, in theory, unlimited. Wow. Because each battery is a, an entity in its own right. So each battery looks after its own characteristics. So um, cell balancing, over voltage, under voltage, uh, short circuit, over current and temperature are all managed individually by each battery. So it sounds like you could do very modular installations where you start off with one or two of them and suck it and see, basically. You go, no, that wasn't enough. Uh, let's just put a few more in. You can add uh, batteries at any time in the future. Wow, so you don't have to buy the same batch. No, they're all independent of each other. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much, Bradley. Thank you, Glenn. It's a pleasure to have you here.